If you'd asked me five years ago what I knew about Ramadan, I would have said, well, it's a time of year, a month, where Muslim people fast every day. And whilst I would have thought that that's quite extreme, I would have accepted it and not really thought too much about it. Now, over the past years, I've got more and more involved in trying to understand the Muslim community and build bridges with uh, the Muslims and the Jews. And I think I know a little bit more about Ramadan now. And one of the things that really strikes me is that, of course, fasting is around food. And in the Jewish community, everything's around food. So on a Friday night, you'll go to somebody's house and eat challah and chicken and a traditional Jewish meal. Uh, if it's Shavuot, a festival we've just had, it's a dairy festival, you'll be given cheesecake. At Jewish New Year, you'll have honey cake and you'll have apples dipped in honey. In fact, every one of our Jewish festivals is around food. Uh, and fasting is part of food, of course. And uh, even Yom Kippur, which is the traditional day of fasting for the Jews, we have a great big meal before we start, and they'll have an enormous meal when we finish. Again, around food. Now, in Judaism, whilst there are 25 days associated with fasting, in fact, the day that everybody keeps, or almost everybody keeps, is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And on Yom Kippur, it's a 25-hour fast. And what's interesting about it is how many people do it and how many people go to synagogue on Yom Kippur and fast together. So when I think about Yom Kippur, I think about three things. One of them is about the religious obligation to fast and to go and atone for our sins. Um, the second one is um, thinking about what, what we've done wrong. Um, and the third one actually is what I think about is that meal before and that meal afterwards. And what that is about is community. Now, what I uh, am aware of is that in shul, most people are going to be there fasting and then they're going to go home with other people, hopefully, and have a communal meal. And the more I've learned about Ramadan, particularly over the last few years, is that understanding of community, that people all come together for Ramadan. Whether it's late at night or early in the morning, Ramadan's about community. It's about people sharing. It's about people knowing each other. It's about people coming together. And what I'm hoping this Ramadan and for every Ramadan moving forwards is that it's not just Muslim people coming together, but we're all coming together. It's a wonderful opportunity over Ramadan for Muslims to come together, but for us to come together with our Muslim friends to build those bridges that we all need to make friends and to make Ramadan a time that we can all share community.